Hello, Cesar. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? ¿Cómo estás, Cesar? Uh, I'm fine. Nice. How's the weather today? ¿Cómo está el clima hoy? Eh, está igual. Me mojé todito, pero ahí está. ¿En serio? Sí. ¿Otra vez? Sí, está lloviendo. Uy, aquí no ha llovido hoy. Ah, qué galán, mire. <risa> Sí, no, no he oído. Solo estuve viviendo ayer, pero sí, llovió fuerte. Hoy ya no. Uh, ya se va a ir para allá. <ríe> si nos manda un poquito. Ahí va a ver, más tarde se va a ir para allá. <ríe> Ojalá que a veces se falta que yo. Pero también hay mucho, ¿no? <ríe> Aquí desde las. Quiero ver. Desde las seis estuvo lloviendo. Esto es la seis, wow. Uh -huh. Y pensé que me iba a venir a tiempo yo. Ah, pero es el primero. <ríe> sí, estoy viendo que siempre soy el primero, mire. ¿Quién es el primero? Pero este, sí les compartieron el enlace, que he tenido problemas con el celular, pero parece que se los comparte alguien más por ahí. Vaya. Ahorita vamos a mandarlo. Ah, es que siempre se los comparten, siempre los comparten. Lo que pasa es que a veces está hasta el final del mensaje que, que, que envían. Ahí está. Gracias, Isa. Vaya. Sí. Hi, Isaías. How are you? ¿Cómo está, Isaías? Bienvenido. Hello, hello, Isaías. ¿Me escucha, Isaías? Sí, sí, ya, ya, sí, ya. Fuerte y claro. Fuerte y claro, no. claro, vamos a ver quién está por acá también. Sonia, hello Sonia, hi. Hi teacher. Hello, hello. ¿Qué tal Isaías? ¿Cómo le ha ido? Bien, bien, ya aquí. Bien, Estamos. por ahí no ha llovido. Eh, no, sí, ese, todavía no. Todavía no. No. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos, tenemos a Sonia también. Sonia, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? How are you? Bien, teacher. Uh, ayer no me pude conectar porque no me cargó la pantalla. Sí. Estaba lloviendo muy fuerte. Uh -huh. Creo que usted fue quien nos envió mensaje, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, mandé un mensaje en el grupo, pero no me podía conectar. Me quedaba uh -huh. la pantalla en preparando este, la, la, la reunión y de ahí me sacaba. Quizá el, el internet habrá sido. Sí, estaba lloviendo bien fuerte también. Uh -huh. Sí, igual este sí, ahora está ahí, todavía sigue lloviendo. <ríe> está lloviendo bastante. Bueno, aquí ya no, aquí menos mal ya no. <ríe> Eso bueno, porque sí. A veces cuando llueve así bastante, sí da problemas con la conexión a internet. Se vuelve bien inestable. Bueno, no sé si ya habían estado en algún otro. Eh, sí, a mí se me estuvo yendo, me regresaba. Uh -huh. eh, no, yo no. ¿Esta es la primera vez que estaba en un curso así en línea? Sí. Ah, bueno, sí. Pero sí, a veces pasa, a veces pasa eso, cuando pasa, sí es un poquito complicado, pero igual hasta a mí me ha pasado antes. Ahora ya es un poco menos. Pero tuve que cambiar de proveedor. Yo no solo cuando llueve se pone bien estable. Y también la línea fija se nos arruinó. Imagino que tuvo que ver algo con eso. Sí, sí, usualmente es eso. Como se, a veces 
no, no sé cómo hacen esas sus conexiones, pero la, la hacen llegar a la casa, pero la hacen pasar por medio de un montón de árboles a veces. Porque, por ejemplo, aquí en mi casa sí pasó la primera sí. vez que pusieron. Este, ahí toda, cuando llovía, ahí en huracanes, solo se veía que movía la cuerdita. Así que esperanza. <risa> Okay, bien. Um, let me see. I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to start. Let's see. Hello, Paula. Hello, hello. Hola, Paula. Nos escucha. Casi no la vemos. Está en la oscuridad ahí. ¿eh? Ahora medio la vemos. <laughs> Bienvenida, Paula. Espero que la sigamos teniendo por acá también. Siéntese bienvenida y parte de acá. Está en silencio su micrófono. Sí, la acabo de encender. Perfecto. Bienvenida. Um, bien, eh, vamos a iniciar. Eh, let's see, we have Wilfredo. In... Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you to go to Friday. So ask me, <laughs> teacher, are you okay today? <laughs> okay, so let me share my screen. Let's see, I can find it, but I'm going to do my best. Let's see. Okay, so listen up. Uh, we're going to start with our session. And we've been talking about personal information and double H words related to these topics, uh, to double H words, I mean. So let me see. Okay, so just to have clear this topic, uh, we're going to be practicing uh, information questions with verb to be and with some other verbs. So everything it's about practice, okay? So most of the time, vamos a estar practicando siempre las information questions uh, with verb to be and with some other verbs in simple present. So let's start. So I'm going to show you some questions in some sentences. So at the end, you're going to be able to tell me what double H word or question uh, is the correct one for the sentences. So look at this. Um, let's see. Cesar, can you read the sentence, please? Oh, um, is Lionel Messi? Okay. Continue, Cesar. Uh, he is um, 20 and 29 year old. Okay. Y la otra no sale todavía. He's the better in the world. He's in Eto. Um, okay. He is from Argentina. Okay, Argentina. Okay. So Argentina. Have, uh -huh. He's Lionel Messi. He is 29 years old. He is an athlete and he's from Argentina. Let's see. So Wilfredo says that uh, he's the best, right? Do you think so? Oh. <laughs> so look at the question. The first question is, who is he? Who is he? So, Wilfredo, can you translate the question? Who is he? So, what's the meaning? Quien es él? Okay, so pay attention to the structures. Who is he? Uh, the next one, Make, read the question, please, Wilfredo. How old is he? Very good, continue, Wilfredo. 
what is occupation? Okay. What is occupation? What is, where is his? From? Mm -hmm. Where is he from? Okay, and where is he from? So we have, who is he? He's Lionel Messi. How old is he? He's 29 years old. What is his occupation? He's an athlete. And where is he from? He's from Argentina, right? Let's see. So let's continue. We're going to be learning about this. So question, who is she? Guys, who is she? Shakira. Shakira. Yeah. Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about her age? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old is she? 14. She's? She's 14 years old. 40. 40 years old. 40 years old. 40. Okay. She 40. She. Okay. And how about her occupation? What is her occupation? Singing. Look at this. She's a? She's a singer. A singer. She's a singer. Singer. Okay, so where is she from? She's from Colombia. She's from Colombia. She's from Colombia, right? So look at the question. Who is she? How old is she? What is her occupation? And where is she from? Let's see, Cesar, uh, you ask the question and Sonia, you answer, okay? Cesar, you ask the question and Sonia, you answer. This Who one. Who is she? She is Shakira. How old is she? She is four year old. What her occupation? She is a singer. Where is she from? She's from Colombia. Perfect, very good. So how old is she? She's 40 years old, old. She's 40 years old. And what is her occupation? Let's see the next one. Do you know them? So who, so who are they? So what do you think? So I think that's plural. Do you know them? Los conocen? Do you know them? Yes. Wait, wait. Yes. yes, they are Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Wow. Do you like to watch <laughs> movies? And so so. Do I meet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. So let's see. So what do you think? How old are they? How old are they? ¿Cuántos años tienen? How old are they? So what is it? Give me a clue, an idea. Um, he'll dear Brad. Uh, 25. 25. 25. Um, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, creo que tenga 25. <laughs> Angelina? Um, 15. 15. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so look at this. Uh, they, they're Brad Pitt and Angelina oh. Jolie. And we have their 53 and 41 years old. But, <laughs> but eso pasa ahora, se cuenta. <laughs> Let's see. And <laughs> what is um, their occupation? So what's their occupation? Um, so what do you think? Actor. Uh, they are actors. Okay. They're actors, right? They and actors. where are they from? They are from the United States. States. The United States, right? So look at the questions again. Who are they? How old are they? What is their occupation? And where are they from? Wilfredo, you asked the question in, let's see, Liliana, can you answer? Liliana, I'm sorry. Liliana, can you answer? Okay. Who, who are they? Sorry. 
so I think she's driving. Let's see. Um, Virginia, please. Ah. Yeah. ah, okay, Ilya. They are. Uh -huh. They are Brad. They are Brad, Pete, and Angela Jolie. Okay, Angelina Jolie. Continue, Wilfredo. How are they? Continue, Eliana. They are 50, 50, uh, 53 and 41 years old. Okay, and 41 years old. Continue. What, what is the occupation? They are actors. Okay. Where are they from? They are from the United States. Okay. Okay, perfect. So let's see, ready for something else. So double H question, asking for personal information. So remember, when we use uh, double H words plus a verb to be, so we're asking for personal information. Let's see. So let's say we're going to have a review about it. And we have the function. Uh, can you read the function, please? Virginia, please. Function, double H questions. What? Read, read it, please. Ayúdanos ahí con la lectura. Uh, question as for information they cannot be, but be answered answered with uh, a uh, yes or yeah. not or no perfect or thank not. you virginia so look this is very important the function so double h questions ask for information right and they can answer it with a yes or a no so interesting detail Let's see so where are you from? So what is the answer? Where are you from, guys? Where are you from? Tell me, tell me about you. Where are you from? He is from Mark. From yeah. <laughs> you are from the uh, moon? <laughs> from the moon, <laughs> Earth. <laughs> so he's asking them, so where are you from, guys? <laughs> yes. Okay, is it possible to say yes? Posible decir, yes, where are you from? Yes. Cuando va a la embajada, ¿cómo dice que va a contestar? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Now, where are you from? So what is the answer? So give me a, a possibility, Wilfredo. Mm, uh, California. Okay, example. California. Nice. We're from Earth, right? So where are you from? We're from Earth. Entonces, las double H questions se responden con información, ¿verdad? No con un sí o con un no. So that's crazy. Let's see. So let's start um, checking the double H questions that we studied yesterday. Seguimos así con el review de lo que vimos ayer. And let's start with who. Who asks about what, guys? People. Uh, people, right? People. people. So who people. asks about people? Example, the question of pregunta la double H who? For? Who about? Persona, ¿verdad? Persona uh -huh. o una persona. Let's see. Let's look at the merchant. Hmm. So who are you? <laughs> okay, so we're looking for a name. So we expect uh, that the answer provide us information about the name of a person, right? So who are you? Who are you? Who is he, right? So we're looking for a person. Estamos buscando que nos digan quién es, quién es esa persona, ¿verdad? ¿Quién eres tú? ¿Quién es él? So what could be about uh, any, um, let's see, let's modify the pronoun. Who is? 
Who is she? Who is she? Who are? They. They. What else? No, who are we? Ed. Okay. Ed. So let's continue. So we continue with the next one. What? Uh, can you read that one, please, Ileana? What is your name? Oh. Okay, read the definition. What, what asks about things? Okay, and the example, what is your name? name. Uh -huh. So we ask, remember what that we uh, request for personal information. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to understand and have clear is that we use double H uh, questions plus bird to be when we want to get personal information. Let's see. So what is your name? Recuerden, cuando utilizamos la double H words con el verbo to be, estamos requesting o solicitando información personal, right? So what is your name? So we're looking for a thing. Queremos saber qué cosa? El number, right? So what is your occupation? So we're also looking for that occupation, right? Uh, what's your, let's see, your last name, Wilfredo? Uh, Rosales. Rosales, right? So what is your last name? I'm looking for uh, Wilfredo's last name. And what is your occupation, Wilfredo? I am supervisor. Okay, I am a supervisor. Mm -hmm. So don't forget the article. So let's continue with the next one. Please help us with this one. Omar, please help us. I? Me? Um, no. Omar, Omar. No, yes. We're asked about place. Uh -huh. So we're asked about places. So what is a place? What is a place? ¿De qué nos pregunta la double H a dónde? Uh, it's a ubication. Uh -huh. A location. Location, okay. Places, right? So where is he from? So what do you think? Where is he from? Any idea? So in, give me a possibility. Uh, New York. Okay, he's from New York. He's from New York. Okay. And we also have another one. Omar, continue. Read the next one. Where? Where are they from? Okay, where are they from? ¿De dónde son? ¿Quiénes? Where are they from? Ellos. They. Ellos. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with another one. We have a uh, how old? Um, help me with this one. Let's see. Um, Isaías, please, Isaías. For holes for you. Mm -hmm. How old us for your? For all us age. 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 Uh -huh. Age. So how old ask for your age? So what what is the translation for how old in Spanish? Tell how me. Old, how old ask for your age? So how old ask for your age? So what is age? Dígame, dígame, ¿qué es Ay, age? Edad, edad. La edad, okay. And what is the translation for how old? Question. ¿Cuántos años? años tiene ella? Ajá. Uh -huh. For example, how old is, is he? He. Is it, is it correct? No. She. So what is the pronoun? She, right? So how oh. old is she? ¿Cuántos años tienes? For example, how old are you? How old are they? 
How old is he, right? ¿Cuántos años tienes? So, how old are you? How old are they? ¿Cuántos años tienen ellos? How old is she, right? So, let's see. Let's continue. So, a important detail here. So, we don't use the question how many for age. Entonces, importante acá, no utilizamos how many para la edad. Yo quiero preguntar la edad. Utilizo how old. How many. ¿Qué significaba how many? ¿Alguien me dice? ¿Cuántos pero de, de cosas como incontables? Como uh -huh. cuántos Sustantivos cosas? contables. For example, how many books are there? ¿Cuántos libros hay ahí? Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos libros hay? Entonces se los pongo acá porque este no lo vamos a, esta pregunta no la utilizamos con nuestra, con, para preguntar edad, de verdad. Esta vamos a utilizar para edad. How old are you? How many? No, not possible in this sense. Okay, so let's continue. The next one is, okay. So tell me, how old are your brothers, Caesar? Do you have brothers, Caesar? Um, um, yes, no. Yes. Okay. And how old are your brothers? Um, 24. 24, okay. Both of them, los dos. Yes. Wow, are they siblings? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, are they twins? Twins? <laughs> twins? Son uh, gemelos? Are they twins? No. No. So, uh, <laughs> well, so that's very curious. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Okay, so we finished in that one. Contractions. So let's check the contractions. We often use contractions for double H questions with is in speaking and informal writing. So look at this. So where is the mustard? So we have where is the mustard? And uh, in speaking or informal writing, we use contractions. So where is the master? Where's? Where's the master? So what's the master? Karen? Well, what's master? Mostaza. La mostaza, right? Where's? So can you repeat that contraction with me? Where's? Where's? Uh-huh, where's? Well. Words. When you ask uh, somebody, when you ask the boss, where's the somebody? Where's my money? So give Words. me more, more ideas. Where's my pocket? Where's my wallet? Where's, what else? My, where's my shoe? So I lost my shoe. Where's my shoe? So let's uh, mm -hmm. listen and practice. Where's my money? Where's my pocket? Where's my wallet? Where's my shoe? Let's see, Gabby, can you repeat the questions, please? Using word. Where's, where's my money? Where's my pocket? Where's my wallet? Where's my shoe? Mm -hmm. So remember, when you have a contraction here, you, um, you read it as a contraction. Where's? Where's my money? Where's my pocket? Where's my wallet? Where's my shoe? Where's? Let's see. But in we, it's really common to use um, contractions in speaking, right? So when you speak, uh, most of the time we use contractions. But in formal writing, so that's not the, that way. So we write the long uh, forms. So what is on TV? So what's the contraction for this one? Any idea? So what's the contraction for what is on TV? What? What? Okay. What? 
What's on TV? What's on TV? What's on TV? What's on, I mean, in the fridge? So what's in the fridge? What's on the radio? So what's on the radio? What's in, let's see, what's in the car? Okay. So what's in the fridge? What's in the radio? And what's in the car? So when we say what is in the fridge, what is on the radio, what is in the car, right? Que hay en la refri, que hay en la radio, y que hay en, ¿qué cosa? Claro. Claro, right? So what's, what's in the fridge, what's on the radio, what's in the car, that car. Okay, can you read the sentence, uh, the questions, please? Uh, Karen, please help us. What's in the fridge? What's on the radio? What's in the car? Okay. So now let's practice number one. So with a partner, so with me, with you and I, <laughs> read the answers and ask double H questions. So let's see, they are their aliens. So what is the question? What is the question for this answer? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What are they? What are they? ¿Qué son ellos? Any other idea? No, what are they? What Wilfred? I think the same. Mm, okay, Caesar. Any idea, Caesar? Uh, their aliens. Their aliens. And what is the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What is? And who are, who are they? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So that was wrong, right? Who are they, right? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Who are they? So that was the first one. Let's see. The United States. So what is the question? The United States. Where, where are you from? Where are you? Okay. Where are you from? Yeah. Any other possibility? Where from? Where, where, who? Where is? Where is, from? where is he from? Nice. Very good. So where is he from? Oh, oops. <laughs> I have, you didn't see anything. Right? Let's see. They're astronauts. So what is the question? They're astronauts. So we're talking about what? Their occupation. Estamos hablando de su ocupación. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Um, what's your occupation? What's your occupation? But that's plural. You see what third is, person plural. What is your occupation? <laughs> what is they? Aha, uh -huh, de ellos, verdad? ¿Cuál es su ocupación? De quién? De ellos. So what is their occupation? Let's see the next one. He's an athlete. Question, question, he's an athlete. Jessica, any idea, Virginia, Sonia? He's an athlete. So what is the question? Come on. Omar, what do you think? He's an athlete. Es un atleta. What is his occupation? Okay, perfect. Cesar, very good. Let's see. ¿Cuál es su ocupación? 
Okay, he's a doctor. Question? What, what is the occupation? Uh-huh, what is his occupation? Why his occupation? What is his occupation? Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> so we don't know. What is his occupation? Se parece menos que me salía en Goku. Se ve en Goku. Okay, so look at this. So we're going to use the clues to ask and answer double H questions. And let's see, number one, friends. So I want you to ask and answer double H questions. So question for picture number one. So what could be the question for picture number one? Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Where are you from? No, where, where are you from? Where are, where are they, they from? from? Okay, where, where are they from? She from? Where are they from? Okay. Number two, what do you think? Picture two, fi fighter. So what is a fighter fighter? So what's that? What is what is occupation? No. What is his what is occupation? His occupation. Okay. How about number three? Alien? Who is he? Who is he, right? Who is he? Who is he? Very good. Who, is he? Who is he? And 17. I mean, well, number four. <laughs> I confused. <that. laughs> number four. Um, Question. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah. How old is he? Is he. <laughs> okay. So the picture, like, I, I think that it doesn't really make sense. sense to me. Como que no tiene mucho sentido, pero... No. Yo pensé que le iba a decir que estás mirando. So what are you looking at? <laughs> I understand cuánto vienen en la nave. What <laughs> huh? How many aliens are there? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, okay. Okay, podría ser. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's check the answers. So they're from France. Who is he? So what is his occupation? He's a firefighter. Who is he? He's an alien. How old is she? He's um. Oh, how old is he? He's 17 years old. So I read the question and um, Gabriela, read the question and Virginia, read the answer, please. Number one, uh, where, are, where are they from? Hello, hello, Virginia. Um, where, they're from where are uh, they from France. France okay continue continue um, yeah. continue mm -hmm. uh, number two what what is his occupation is, is an alien He's an alien. Okay, nice, cute. <laughs> With number three, who is a fighter? Fight. He's a fighter, fighter. But well, that was cute. <laughs> okay, and soon, bombero, right? <laughs> and number number three, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? He's no. this one. Three. Number three. With his alien. Uh huh. Okay. He's an alien. Number four, how old is she? How old is he? I don't know. He's, he's um, 17. I don't know, 17. Year old. She are old. Uh -huh. Years, years old, years old. 
old. Okay, question. So what's the question? Who is she? Who is she? She Emma Stone. Emma Watson. Emma, Emma Watson. Watson. How old is she? Tell me. Emma Watson. Mm -hmm. um, Lo voy a buscar en Google. 33 years old. 33. And where is she from? 33 years. She is from or England. England. Okay. And uh, what is her occupation? And what is her occupation? She's an actress. Okay. She's Emma Watson. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's Emma Watson. Uh -huh. She's 26, but I don't think um, she's uh, still 26. Yo creo que ya no tiene 26. Gabriela is probably right. She's an actress in France, yeah. She's from France. France. Okay. France. So look at the question. Let's see. Read the question. Uh, question, Omar, and answer, please, um, Marielena. So what is Marielena? Marielena se me escapa este día. <laughs> um, Karen, please. Okay, Omar and Karen. Okay, it's a, who is she? Emma Watson. What is her occupation? She's an actress. How old is she? She's 26 years old. Okay. Where is she from? She's from for France. Mm -hmm. She's from France. Let's see. Oh, oops. Let's see. Okay. So tell me about him. So ask the question and answer, please. Um, let's see. Jessica. Jessica, please. So you ask, Jessica. And uh, you answer, Sonia. Jessica, ask the question. Who is he? Uh -huh. He is Cristiano Ronaldo. Next question. How? Um, continue, Gabby. Continue. Where? Where? Are he from? Where? Where is? He is from. Is from. Where is from? Who? Who he is from? Where Portland. is he from? Mm -hmm. Where is he from? Repeat the question, Gabby. Where is he from? Where is he from? Mm -hmm. Where is he from? Jessica. He is from Portugal. Portugal, okay. And continue with the next question, Gavi. What is um his uh, what is he occupation? Okay, so what is his occupation or contraction? What's what is, what his, what's his his occupation. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. his occupation? Okay. Jessica? He, he is um, a, a athlete. 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 Okay. He's an athlete. So he's an athlete. Continue with the next question, Gabriela. How old, how old is he? He is 30. 31. 32. Okay, so Wilfredo, do you think that he is the best uh, soccer player? No, he's not. 
<laughs> no, the question is, do you think that he is uh, the best soccer player? You mentioned he's the best soccer player. Okay, but you said, yes, he is. I was <laughs> yes, he does, right? Do you think? Okay. Así es, yo no pienso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see uh, the next one. Who is she? Who is she? Who um, is she? Ariana Grande. Okay, so where is she from? Use, use a, use a, la use a, aquí ves. <laughs> USA, the United States, right? USA, 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 USA. Okay, and how old is she? Um, Twenty-three years old. Twenty-three, right? Twenty-three. And what's her occupation? Singer. Singer. Right? Singer. Okay, nice. So, do you know him? Yo pensé que era. Yo pensé que era el ex president. Let's see, we have to modify that. <laughs> okay, so do, uh, do you know him? Lo conocen? Somebody? No. No, okay, so it's a pleasure to introduce him to me. <laughs> Let's see, um, who is he? Tell me. But there you have information. Mario Vargas. Mario Vargas. So where is he from? Peru. Okay, Peru. In what's his occupation? Uh, winter. Writer. 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 Mm -hmm. He's a writer. Writer. He's a writer. Um, how old is he? How old is he? 18. Mm -hmm. 18. Okay. 18. 18. 18. Okay, so do you know him? Mario Testino. Mario Testino. Okay, so where is he from? Okay. He's from Peru. 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 Okay, Peru. And what's his occupation? Photographer. Photographer. Okay, photographer. photographer. And how old is he? Uh, six hundred two. Sixty-two, right? Okay, so what's um so who's she? Who is she? Michelle Obama. Okay. And where is she from? USA. 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 Okay, and what's her occupation? Lawrence. Lawyer. 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 A lawyer, lawyer. Right? She's a lawyer. So how old is she? Bye. Five and three. Five and three. Fifty three. Fifty three. Fifty three, right? Fifty three. So, did you know that she is a lawyer? Ya sabían que era abogado? Yes. 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 So you read the, the news. Y nunca ayudó. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So now we will continue with some exercises. So let me see. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to have a, a short exercise uh, using WH words with a uh, to be. Okay, question one, please help me. So what is the correct answer for, uh, what is the correct WH word for this question? He is at the cinema. So what is the correct double H word? Where? 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 Okay. where? okay. So where is he? He is at the cinema. Number two. So what's why? The, why? Why? Okay. Why is he sad? So why is he sad, Wilfredo? Because he no. Ill. So what's the meaning? Ill. Ill. Uh huh. The uh, meaning? Spanish? Sick. Sick. Uh huh. 
Enfermo. Enfermo, okay. Number three, is that, so what is the um, double H? What is that? Okay, what is that? What is that, Karen? It's a present. Okay, it's a present. Number four, uh, Gabriela. So what do you think, Gabby? Number three. No, sorry, okay. Uh, okay. Help us. When, when? When. 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 When, when is the exam? Exam. When is the exam? Sister, when is the exam? It is next week. Okay. It's next week. Okay. It is mm. next week or it's next week. It's next week. Okay. Very good. Number five. Mm. Whoa. Who? Who is that? Who? Who is that? Ah, number five. Yeah, it's five. So what do you think? What is that? When? What, that? what or who? What? What? Okay. So what is that? It is a mouse. Let's see. Uh, number six. What? Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. Why, is happy. Why is he happy? Why is he happy? Liliana, why is he happy? Because he has got a new car. Okay. Why? Why? Perfect. Let's see. Number seven. Omar. It's who? Who? Okay. Who is she, Omar? She is my sister. Okay, number eight, Luis. When? Okay. When is your when birthday? is your birthday, Sonia? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Invite us to the party tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. So we have an invitation. Thank you. Thanks to Sonia. She's um celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Number nine. Where? Okay. Where is Jack? Where is Jack, Omar? He is in bed. He's in bed, right? So he's in bed. Let's see, 10, um, somebody else. Isaías, number 10. Hello, Isaías, 10. As, uh, activate your microphone. So who, what, or how? How? Okay. Mm, how makes breakfast? No. What? what? What we, makes breakfast? Who, who, who makes who, breakfast? Who, who, okay, who, 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 how, what, who makes breakfast? No, that's not possible, guys. Who, <laughs> who makes who, who who makes breakfast? Okay, who makes mom. breakfast? Remember, we ask about people, right? Who who makes who. breakfast? Mine. Grandmother. My grandmother. My grandmother, right? So what do you think about this? Makes. Ah, so did yeah. you notice the verb? Se dieron cuenta de algo en el verbo? Makes. in third person. Ajá. Lleva ahí una S, ¿verdad? Quiere decir que cuando utilizamos nosotros eh, who para hacer una pregunta, Lo estamos utilizando de una manera, en este caso es una subject question. ¿Qué quiere decir una subject question? ¿Qué dijimos ayer? Teníamos who más el verbo, ¿verdad? Sujeto de pregunta. Es una subject question. Es una pregunta que nos, eh, bueno, donde nosotros preguntamos por qué. 
por el sujeto de la oración. ¿Y quién es la que hace el desayuno? La abuela. La abuela, ¿verdad? Nosotros estamos preguntando por la persona que realiza la acción. ¿Quién hace el desayuno? La abuela. Por eso se llama subject question. Entonces, cuando utilizamos who como una subject question, el verbo le vamos a aplicar las reglas que veíamos para tercera persona, pero solo en este caso, con who. Who makes breakfast? Who, let's see, who eats uh, breakfast? Who has a shower? Who dances? Who plays soccer? Who listens to music? Who teaches English? Who studies English? Ok, so just in this case. En este caso, el verbo, si sí tenemos que hacerle estos cambios acá, aunque sea una pregunta. Ok, pero en este caso, ¿no? Double H word, el verbo. That's it. Let's see. Eleven. Eleven. Did you buy? What do you buy? Where did you buy? Let's read, let's read the, the answer. Uh -huh. A lot of things. A lot of things. Mm, ok. Entonces, basada en ese contexto, ¿cuál sería mi pregunta? Who did you buy? Mm, ¿A quién compraste? ¿Qué compraste? ¿Qué compraste? Muchas cosas. That's not a nice answer. <laughs> Let's see. Twelve. Who is crying? Who is crying? Why? Ah, uh, uh, no, no. Who? 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 Okay. My dad and my brother. So look at them. <laughs> okay, so it's time to reveal this. So let's check. So look at this. Ten. So congratulations. Very good. So you're awesome. Okay, so I think uh, that's clear with this topic. So just keep in mind this. Solamente quizás rescatar de acá de las... En este punto nada más. Sí, tomen nota, ¿verdad? cuando es una subject question con who, porque who también podría ser una object question, pero cuando es una object, recuerden que tenemos que utilizar los auxiliares. Cuando es una subject, no, solamente ubicamos la, la palabra, o la, sí, la palabra who, después el verbo, y después lo, lo demás que queremos agregar, ¿verdad? Nada más eh, tomar en cuenta eso, que acá el verbo lo tienen que hacer como que si fuera una oración afirmativa en, eh, cuando usted está utilizando tercera persona. ¿verdad? She makes breakfast. Uh, he makes breakfast. Who makes breakfast? Porque acá este who toma, eh, es un pronombre, es un pronombre. Entonces nosotros lo que buscamos acá es saber quién realiza la acción de hacer, ¿verdad? Quien come, quien hace, nada más eso, claramente eso. So let's see, let's continue. So just let me share. And we will continue with the second part of the topic. So now I'm going to mix them. Ahora las vamos a mezclar, vamos a ver. So we're going to learn the double H questions. Oh, yes, no question, but So we're going to focus with double H questions. So let's see. Ya está proyectando la PPT o solo es pequeña? Yes. So I want you to think about a question, how to make the question. Okay. Okay, so look at this. So we have a relation here with the double H word and the meaning. Acá nuevamente tenemos una relación 
de entre la double H word y su significado. When, para cuando utilizamos when, para preguntar qué cosa. To ¿Cuándo? ask time, ajá, uh -huh. time. Para preguntar tiempo, ¿verdad? O cuándo va a suceder algo. Who, to ask about. Person. Person, ajá, uh -huh. persons, people, which. How many? Mm -hmm. Options. Uh -huh. So we limit an option. Limited options. Opciones limitadas. ¿Cuál, verdad? For example, which uh, car do you want? A Toyota or let's say um, Mitsubishi. So which one do you want? ¿Cuál de esos dos? So we have limited options. Tenemos opciones limitadas. So which one do you want? Tell me, Wilfred, Mitsubishi or Toyota? No, ninguno. Yes, Wilfredo. So which one do you want? I have Hyundai. Ah, uh, Hyundai, okay. Well, <laughs> that was not included. Let's see, so um, uh, how about you? Let's see, Gabriela, which one do you want? Um, let's say a computer or um, let's say tablet or a tablet. Uh, in the computer. The computer. The, the computer. Ok, la computer. Entonces acá con which nos limitamos a las opciones que nos dan. Con what preguntamos, vamos acá, ¿dónde está el what? Acá. Con what preguntamos por, eh, también, por, significa qué o cuál, ¿verdad? Solamente que con en, la diferencia entre este y este es la siguiente, que acá tenemos eh, opciones limitadas, las que nos ofrecen, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿quiere este, por ejemplo, este contrato? O, o le generamos, o probablemente le están ofreciendo dos tipos diferentes de contrato. Uno le incluye, digamos, el cable, le incluye este, el internet y la línea. Otro, no le, otro solo le incluye el internet. También, vamos acá, con el what, hay una, es más amplio, hay más variedad. Entonces, en el what, yo podría hacer la misma pregunta. So, what type of contract do you want? O what car do you want? Por ejemplo, ¿qué carro quieres? Elige cualquier carro. So, what car do you want? ¿Qué carro quieres? Entonces, no, yo no lo limito a dos opciones. Ok. Dejo ahí abierto. ¿no? Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre este which y este what. So, let's continue with whose. Whose. When do I use whose? ¿Cuándo utilizo who's? Para hablar de... De possessives. ok. Para preguntar de posesiones. Ok. Whose book is this? ¿De quién es este libro? ¿Cuáles eran las posibilidades que les mencionamos ayer? It is, is Mary. Ok. It is Mary's book. It's um, uh, Carlos. Yes. Book. Uh -huh. It's Mary's. Or just Mary's. Miren ahí. ¿De quién es este libro? Ah, de María. El libro de María. It's Mary's. Ahí se, se entiende, no es necesario volver a escribir, ¿verdad? O solamente decimos Mary's. Mary. Qué sencillo, Mary's. Eh, whose eh, también es una subject question. El caso de whose eh, solo funciona como subject question. Whose, porque yo estoy buscando, yo estoy buscando eh, la persona, ¿verdad? Yo quiero saber quién, uh -huh, quién posee tal cosa. Entonces, en el caso de whose, si es una subject question, ella no tiene doble función de subject y object, solo subject. 
Sí, uh, where. So let's continue with where. So where ask about. ¿De qué nos pregunta where? About places. Places. Uh -huh. Places, right? Or location, right? Ubicación. That is ubicación. So where are you guys right now? Where are you? Are you at home? Where are you? Tell me, where are you? I am at home. Oh, okay. And let's see the next one. What? What us about? Things, right? So when, uh, what us about things? Y lo que les comentaba, que what nos hace preguntas acerca de cosas. Eh, ¿Qué más? Personal information. Y también para mostrarnos posibilidades, por decirlo así. Si queremos hacer la comparación entre el which y el what. And how. So how ask about. Vamos a ver el how. ¿Cuándo utilizamos how? ¿Cómo? Ideas, how? En algo. About. ¿Cómo realizamos alguna actividad? Ajá, ¿cómo realizamos una actividad? La forma, la manera, el proceso. También, ¿qué más? Mencionamos algo más. So we mentioned um, attitudes, right? So how do you feel, right? So how, uh, how are you, right? So we ask about uh, conditions, states or conditions. O sea, lo utilizamos para preguntar por una actitud o una condición, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo estás? I'm fine, thanks. Y no se nota que esté bien, ¿verdad? No que está enojado. <laughs> Let's see. And the next one and last one that we're going to study is we, uh, why. Uh, why is used to ask about a reason. A reason, right? Reason. Yo quiero conocer el por qué de algo. Y cuál, um, y para responder, ¿qué voy a utilizar para responder? Because. 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 Ok, entonces no confundir acá. Este es why de pregunta y este es because de respuesta. respuesta. So, why are you angry? Because. She, um, because she's, um, I don't know, because she told me that I was not um, his friend or something like that. I don't know, some ability. <laughs> so you're crying like a baby. Let's see. Um, just a reminder of this. So we have a sub, okay, let me see. Subject questions, okay? So don't forget the subject questions. We have a what, we also have a which, we also have a who, and we also have whose. Entonces, las subject questions, el día de ayer solo mencionamos algunas de ellas, las subject questions. Mencionamos who y mencionamos the what, pero también which y whose, Pueden tener doble funcionalidad, como subject y object questions. Entonces, pero subject questions son estas cuatro. Y vamos a ver, estas tres, o sea, estas tres tienen doble funcionalidad como object questions también. Object and subject. Entonces, de acá, solo who es la que se nos queda afuera, que solo es subject question. Recuerden, subject question, yo quiero saber quién realiza algo. Object questions. Y pues de ahí tenemos todo. <clears throat> Which, what, when, why. So what, it's another one, how. So mention the rest. ¿Cuáles nos hacen falta ahí? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Where? 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 
Is there any other? So we have which, what, who. Okay. Who? Any other? Okay, so we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to add just them. Entonces, nada más esto, la who's, who's. Si solo tiene la función de subject, mm -hmm. estas otras tienen doble funcionalidad como subject y object questions. ¿Y por qué menciono eso? Porque de eso va a depender cómo vamos a utilizar nosotros y cuándo vamos a utilizar el auxiliar para formular double H questions. Por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, what happened? Miren, o oh, la voy a poner por acá, no va relacionada con el, con el, con el which. No. What happens? Miren, siempre respetando. Okay. What happened? What happened in what happened? ¿Qué sucedió o qué sucede? Entonces, no necesariamente me está preguntando de una persona acá, no necesariamente, pero el what toma función de pronombre, aunque no me dé una respuesta de una persona. ¿Qué sucedió? Ah, she, she fired, fired me. Ella me despidió. Vamos a ver. What causes... Ok, ¿qué te ocasionó problemas? So, what caused you troubles? The weather, el clima. Ok, the weather caused me troubles. Oh, the car, the, I had a crash accident, tuve un accidente. Ok, what caused you troubles to come? Bye. Entonces, tenemos acá, vemos otra con who. Okay. ok. Who answers the question? ¿Quién contesta la pregunta? Ah, Wilfredo. So he's my subject. Entonces lo que quiero hacer notar acá es que no necesariamente acá vamos a, vamos a, a tener aquí con esta pregunta un nombre de una persona, ¿verdad? Puede ser otra cosa. Entonces, eso puede variar. Right, sí. Who crashed? ¿Quién chocó? ¿Sí? No me voy a poner aquí nadie de aquí, ¿verdad? Pepito. <laughs> crashed. Ok. Ah, yeah, Pepito. Pepito crashed. Ahora veamos. ¿Cómo vamos a formular nuestras double H questions? Eh, nuestras object questions. Vamos a poner un ejemplo acá. Which book do you want to read? ¿Cuál libro quieres leer? ¿En qué me enfoco acá? Yo quiero saber quién recibe la acción del verbo, right? So, which book do you want to read? Okay. I want to read Harry Potter book, for example. Veamos otra pregunta por acá. Entonces, lo que quiero que noten ustedes es que cuando son object questions, usted tiene que utilizar el auxiliar. Pero para eso usted debe comprender en algunas ocasiones, no es que cuando nosotros estamos hablando vamos a estar pensando, ah, object, object, no. Eso va a salir yeah. natural. Solamente es para que comprendamos la parte de la gramática. Um, let's see. Um, who do you love? Who do you love? ¿A quién amas? ¿Quién recibe la acción del verbo amar? Digan. Who do you love, guys? No va a poner muy romántica. Oh. So, who do you love? ¿A quién aman? My mother. Estaba pensando ahí en saber quién. So, who do you love? 
a quién aman. Entonces recuerden, acá yo busco quién recibe la acción de este verbo amar. ¿A quién amas? A mi mamá. So she's the uh, object. How do you come to work? So how do you get to work? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? How do you get to work? By bus. Okay? And bus. By bus. Oh. Entonces, acá lo que yo busco es quién recibe esta acción. How do you get to work? By bus. The object. So I want to know that. Okay, and the rest is clear. For example, where do you work? ¿A dónde trabajas? When do you live? ¿Cuándo te vas? So when do you live? And that's all. So let's see. So we'll check some examples. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. So, but don't worry about it. So this is just... Uh, for you to have an idea when to use the auxiliary, when not, or how to understand that thing. Okay, may I erase this? Oh, borrarlo? Good. Okay, nice. So now, complete the question with the question word. No, okay, so this is the example. When do you get up? So when do you get up? Eight, seven, um, ten. Okay, at, at seven, ten. So I get up at seven, ten. So how about this one? So what is the double H word? ¿Cuál sería la double H word? Do you have for breakfast tea and toast? What oh. do you have for breakfast? Okay, perfect. So what do you have for breakfast? Tea and toast. Perfect. Let's see the next one. How, how do you go to school? Perfect. So how do you go to school? ¿Cómo vas a la escuela? Or how do you go to work? On oh, food. Okay. So what's the meaning on foot? A pie. A pie. A pie, okay. How about this one? Whose book is it? Perfect. So whose book is it? The quién es? ¿Qué cosa? Uh, este libro, right? It's Mary's. It's Mary's. So what about this one? What? Uh -huh. Who is your favorite? <laughs> okay. Who, who so is who is your favorite actor? actor? Okay. Mm -hmm. venía la piedrita. Who is your favorite actor? Aston Kutcher. I don't know who, who is him. Let's see. Uh, did wow. you take a screenshot? Let them on photo, eh? Or did you take a photo or a screenshot? Avisenme para salir bien en las capturas. Que saber cómo salgo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm bremendo. Let's see. The next one. So complete the question with a question word and find the answer. Okay. So why do you want to go home? So try to give me an answer. So why do you want to go home? Give me an answer. Alguien que me trate de dar una respuesta. So why do you want to go home? Because I want to relax in my bed. <laughs> okay. The next one. So what is the double H for this one? Where? Where? Okay. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay. So the next one. Do you watch TV? Uh-huh. How do you watch? Hmm. How do you watch TV? Another. No, 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 no. How often? No, 
Mm -hmm. How often watch TV? Mm -hmm. Could be. How often? Perfect. How often do you watch TV? Esa no la mostramos hoy, pero la vimos el día de ayer. How often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Miras. Okay. Okay, the next one. Uh, can you read this one? Which hand do you write with? Uh, give me an answer. Which hand do you write with? With the right hand. Right hand. If uh, and how about the rest? Do you write with your left or right hand? Right hand. Right. And the next one, brothers, have you got? What how many? How many? How many? How many? Perfect, very good. Let's see, um, read the question, Karen, and the answers, please, Wilfredo. Uh, okay. Question why, why do you want to go home? Why do you want to go home? Um, Here you have the, okay, because it's late. Late. Okay. Where do you live? Um, in Northport. How often do you watch TV? Every day. Which <laughs> hand do you write with? Uh, only one. How hmm. many brothers have you got? Uh, with my left, no, no. <laughs> this, is, this is only one. Only the, one. The previous we, one. The previous is with my left hand. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So which hand do you write with? Con cual mano escribes? So with my left hand. Hand. And how many brothers have you got? Only one. Perfect. So let's see. So there you have the answers. So take a screenshot if you want. Do you have the screenshot? Yes. Ya todos tienen la captura, the screenshot? Yes. Okay, nice. So now let's see, we have to make some questions. So ask and answer. So let's see. Um, volunteer for this one so we have the verb leave so try to make a question so mike and any where did you live where do you live okay so where does listen where does mike live Where does Mike live? Look at the picture. So where does Mike live? UK. Okay, UK. So where does Annie live? Do you know that? Australia. 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 The ocean, Australia, I think. Let's see. And how about, um, I'm not really Londres sure. Londres Sydney. Uh-huh. Londres. London? London and uh, Sydney. Sydney, okay. So she lives in London or in Sydney. Okay, so how many brothers um, or sisters does Mike have? Two sisters. Uh -huh. He has two? Yes, two sisters. Okay. So how about any? So how many brothers or sisters does she have? She has one brother. Okay. So how do you go to school? How does, how does Mike go to school? 
by bus. By bus. Bye. 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 Okay, by bus. And how does any go to school? By motorcycle. Mm -hmm. By motorcycle. What time does Mike get up? What time? Uh huh. Six thirty p.m. Wilfred. He get up. Six and thirty. Mm -hmm. He gets up at six thirty. And how about Annie? So what time does she get up? She get up seven fifteen. Fifteen. She gets up. Uh -huh. She gets up. So that's her get. Yes. Uh -huh. She, she gets, gets up. 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 Get. Seven, fifteen. Fifteen. And how about the verb? Gets. She gets up. Recuerden, la regla ahí, tercera persona. She gets up at 7.15. Let's see. What does Mike have for lunch? What does Mike have for lunch? He has hamburger and chips. And chips, okay. And how about uh, Annie? So what does she have for lunch? Sandwich. A sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> half sandwich. Yo creo que la mitad del sandwich. Half, <laughs> half sandwich. And salad. Fruit and salad. Fruit. 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 Uh -huh. Fruits and a juice. Is it orange juice? Orange juice. Orange juice, right? And fruit. Fruit. Gabriela, fruit. 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 Okay. Perfect. So let's see. So we continue practicing. Student B, look at the chart and answer the questions. So you. So this is about you. Um, which musical instrument do you play? Tell me, so which musical instrument do you play? Tell me, so which musical instrument do you play? Sonia? The piano, the drums? None, ningún. Battery? The drums? Okay. Drums. Um. How about you, Wilfredo? Do you do you play any of these instruments? No. 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 Okay. No. So let's switch into the next question. So what subject do you like? What subject do you like? History or geography? Geography, right? So what sports do you do? What sports do you do? Omar? Soccer. Soccer. Okay, Karen, what sports do you do? Soccer. Soccer. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sonia, what sports do you do? Soccer. Soccer. This one? Let's see if someone keep this one. Tennis. Okay. Um, Bubble. Okay. And what do you do after school or after work? So what do you do? Tell me. What do you do after work? Um game play. I um, you play. Uh, music. I listen to music. I listen to music. Okay. Jessica, so what do you do after work? Virginia, hello, Isaías, Luis, Eduardo. Vamos a ver qué me les ha pasado hoy. Eh, Omar, vamos, vamos a ver camarita. Uh, no uh, Ajá, so what do you do after work? Cuéntenme, ¿qué hacen después del trabajo? ¿Se van a pasear? ¿Se van a dormir? ¿Qué hacen? What do you do after work? I am busy. I am watch TV. Okay. I am, I am taking my class. 
So you go to your English class. You take your English lesson. Okay. Nice. Let's see the next. Mm -hmm. So you have an English class. And let's see. You and your internet friend. Let's see. Um, what? Let's see. I want you to make a question. So try to do your best. Try to make a question. O sea, tratemos de hacer ahí una pregunta con los verbos que tenemos ahí. For example, number one. What language do you speak? What do you speak? What I language? Speak I speak Spanish and English. Okay. How about, let's see, your internet friend, what language does he speak? What language does your friend speak? Did he speak? Italian. 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 Okay, Italian. Let's see, next question. What do you do at home? What do you do at home? So look at the picture. Clean, cleaning my house. Mm, okay, so what's the verb for this activity? What's the verb que estudiamos para esta actividad? Vacuum. Vacuum, okay. So I vacuum the floor. And what does your internet friend do? I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. Okay. So hold on. Vamos a, vamos a compartir algo por ahí. Vamos a ir a ver aquí el diccionario. ¿Ya todos están viendo el diccionario? Yes. 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 Perfect. Iron. 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 Listen. Iron. 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 Oh, escuchamos la otra. Iron. 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 Es un poquito más. Tenemos que en este sentido me iría por esa, pero esa sería iron. 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 No, no, Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay. Iron. 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 Hay tres vocales. Iron. 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 Okay. Iron. Ya no me va a decir iron, ¿verdad? Iron. 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 Listen, vamos a ver, escúchenla, escúchenla. Se la voy a poner otra vez. Try to listen. Iron. 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 Iron.
Let's see. Perfect. Ah, 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 ah. <risa> no estoy riendo de ustedes, estoy riendo porque es cierto, pero no, no me ríe usted. <risa> Entonces, la, que hablan las ranitas en la noche. <risa> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what I pensar en <laughs> Let's see. So what do you read? The newspaper or comics? Don't read the comic. Comics, right? Comics. How about your internet friend? So what does he read? A book. Magazines, magazines or books? Book. Books. books. He read a book. And how about um where do you go? Where do you go? To a party or where do you go swimming? I go to party. Uh -huh. I go to parties. I go. And how about your internet friend? So where does he go? He goes no. ski. Skiing, okay, he goes skiing. Skiing. Mm -hmm. Skiing, he va a esquiar. Skiing, he goes skiing. Okay, so that's all. So now we have to continue. So give me a second. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, some uh, questions here, and I want you to give me the double H question. Is number one. So, what's the double H question? So, listen, I'm going to send you the link. Le voy a compartir el link también para que lo vayan haciendo ustedes. And then you send me the screenshot. Después me mandan el resultado. Number one. What? Okay, what? Read the full question, okay? Vamos leyendo la, la pregunta completa. What is, what, is your what is your name? Okay, my name is Paul. Number two. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Cipolletti. Number three. What are you doing? Where are you doing? This one? No. Which one? What are, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my homework. Number four. What? Where is your book? Where, where, is, where? where is your book? Uh, it's in my school bag. Number five. What? He, no, no. What is is what is this? Okay, this? so what is this? It's an apple. It's an apple, okay. Number six. Who? Who are you? I'm at home. Where are you? Where? Where? Oh, okay. Where, Where, are, are, you? You? Where are, are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh. Tell me. Seven. Who is your who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? Okay, so who is your best friend? Number eight. Okay. My best friend is Mike. Eight. Who is your father? Okay, my father is Gustavo. Nine. What? Is your mother's name? Okay. What is your mother's name? What time she is, is it? Sylvia, right? 10? What? what time is it? What time is it? It's 10 o'clock? No, not yet. 11? Who is your Okay, my teacher is Karina. So we don't know Karina. 12? When? When, when is your, uh, your birthday? 
Birthday. 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 So when is your birthday? When is your birthday, Wilfredo? Uh, the number, I'm uh, sorry, I, I, I respond to the last one. What is the question? Uh, when is your birthday? What is birthday? When, uh, when? In April. So, it's in April. April. In April. Like to the example. Okay, how about 13? What is your favorite food? Okay, my favorite food is pasta. 14. When is the English class? Okay, so when is the next English class? It's on Monday and Tuesday. Thir uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? 15. Yeah. Who is your favorite football player? Ah, okay. So who's your favorite football player? Is Cristiano Messi. Ronaldo, Wilfred. <laughs> I know, I do crazy. Okay. So now you, you can check this. Let's see. So perfect. So you see, you're doing great with that one. So now let's continue with this one. Well, I'm going to give you time so you can add the double H for this one. Okay. So please open the link. Okay. Esta la van a trabajar en pareja. Okay. So this one. Let me see. Okay. Pero todavía no. Todavía no. Vamos a mostrar algo antes de movernos por ahí. So hold on. This one. Sí, esa es la que vamos a hacer tarea mejor. Nos vamos a la que nos interesa en este momento. Double edge questions asking about routines and general information. Uh, remember, we use double edge questions to ask for extra information about something or somebody. Recuerden que Hacemos la double H para obtener información adicional, extra, de algo o de alguien. And the structure that we have. Can you read the structure, please, uh, Karen? Where do you work every day? The double question, auxiliary, do or does, subject, verb, and complement. Okay. Perfect. So this is the structure that we're going to follow. Okay, ese es el que les acabo de enviar el link para que ustedes también lo tengan y puedan este, verificar nuevamente las estructuras. Double H question, auxiliary verb, do, does, subject, you, your mom, verb, work, cook, complement, right? Every day and for lunch. So let's see, exercise. Um, Cesar, please read the instruction. Okay, uh, read on this uh, solution, right question, what, what, time, what time, where, when, what, and who, who with, who we, we sing the word in the bowl as a clue. Okay, using the word in bowl as a clue. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a utilizar acá? La palabra que está what? sombreada va a ser nuestra pista. Por ejemplo, what do you study at the language center? I study English. ¿Qué cosa? Inglés. At the language center. Let's see. Entonces tenemos que leer esta información y la pista es la información que está resaltada ahí en negrita. Okay. So I'm going to help you with two. Um, let's, vamos a ver cuántas son. Ah, si solo son ocho. Solo con una. <laughs> Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. ¿Cuál sería mi pregunta? Mi double H. When. 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 Okay. When. Mike and Jake. Okay. When do Mike and Jake play soccer? Perfect. When do Mike and Jake play soccer? Play soccer. Okay, nice. 
Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. Si su pregunta es respondida con esto que está acá, eso le confirma que esa es su respuesta. ¿Cuándo juegan soccer Mike and Jake? Yeah, on Saturday. Ahí está mi respuesta. Ok, so I'm going to assign you to work in purse. Entonces lo vamos a mandar a los breakout rooms para que trabajen en parejas. ¿Ya todos tienen el, el, el inglés? Me les envío el PDF por acá. Ok, perfect. So let's go. Entonces, unámonos ahí al breakout room y vamos a trabajar en, eso, en ese ejercicio, creando las double H questions.
Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Dígame. Uh, the other name, two of them. Ah, sería la otra, la otra worship. Trabajemos la okay. otra primero. Uh -huh. Esa se la voy a dejar que uh -huh. la hagan después. Ahorita trabajen la otra uh, worship. Y no no puede mandar en mí. Ah, vaya. No se lo. Ah, ahí está. Ahorita. ¿Ya lo encontraron? Sí, creo que es esta. Bueno, voy a dejar de compartir, Karen. Mire, te digo. Ahí se lo de compartir. Sigue con Karen. Okay. Sigue con Karen. Sigue con Karen. <risa> Algo hay ahí. Algo hay. Bueno. Y ahí se los mando otra vez. Pueden descargar el PDF ahí. No, no es esa. Ahorita les revisen ahorita, yo les acabo de compartir un, el enlace. Ese sí tiene que ser. Ese sí es. Bueno, ustedes quedaron bien nutridos. Vamos a ver, quedaron tres acá. <ríe> Comparte usted, Sonia. ¿Lo tiene ahí? Es que yo veo que es el mismo, teacher. El mismo. Déjame. El mismo. La misma dirección. No, no puede ¿Eh? ser. O sea, sí es la misma dirección, pero es otra, otra worksheet. No, ahí está. Pero ese es. Otro. Ese. Ah, es que el último que mandó. Ajá, Tommy. el último. Ah, ok. Ok, voy a ir a dar una vuelta por ahí. El otro okay. grupo. Ya regreso. Jessica. Uh, ok. Ustedes empezaron con esa. Es que no tenemos la no. otra. Es el último enlace. ¿Se los envío acá? Ah, sí, porque solo lo... Sí, me interesa más que trabajar. Este lo pueden trabajar independiente. El otro me interesa un poco más que lo trabajen. Va. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, Luis. Ya les cargo el enlace. Mm -mm. Ah, perdón, es que yo le estaba compartiendo otra cosa. A su me manda otra vez. Ajá, a mí también. Este no me dice. <risa> ah, no, a ver, ahí está. <risa> Ni sé dónde lo saqué en ese momento. Estaba compartiendo el otro. Ahí está. Ahora. Ok, thank you. Hello, Luis. Hola, Luis. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué pasó? Solito quedó. Estaba con Virginia, teacher, pero fíjese que a mí se me está cayendo la conexión. Ah, ¿Cómo no. se llama? No le entendía lo que me decía. Yo estoy ahí la dejé. Creo que se salió. Vamos a ver. Bueno, ahorita la tra estoy tratando de ingresar ahí, acá. Ok. Si... Pero tienen el enlace. Fíjese que yo sí, pero no... No puedo acceder, solo cargando. Dice que sí, tengo una mala conexión ahorita. 
Así es que tengo, no sé por qué me copia el enlace de Zoom. Sí, ah, bueno, entonces hagamos algo. Lo voy a poner de oyente en otro, en un grupo. Así que no With the duck. Oh, when? When depends on the response. Okay. Because he's flying with the ducks. When the call me, my friend Tom. Quién? Uh huh. Why? 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 Okay, why? I'm sorry. Next is, is the kitten under the table? Pero cuando decimos why, what is the play? Que no es because, porque siempre vamos a responder con because, cuando es why. Porque my friends son... Solo que aquí ninguna es because. Bueno, sí. Ajá, vamos, vamos con el logo. Sí. Sería, if the kitten uh, under the table, en la mesa. What is the kitten? ¿Qué estás? ¿Qué, ¿Qué está mm. haciendo eso en la mesa? No, ¿qué? No, no, ¿qué? What is the kitten? Why? Where? What? Where? Where? Uh -huh. Where? A dónde? Where is the kitten? Uh -huh. Ahí okay. se le que ver. Okay. Thanks. Ahí tendríamos que verificar si hay una respuesta. Where is the kitten? Where? Where? Where or something? Okay. It next is book is on the table. It's mine. Uh, okay. Teacher. Hello, hello. Este es el que estamos haciendo nosotros. Sí, yo sé. Este ahí se me no sé por qué razón. No me, no me copia el enlace. Cuando, o sea, si lo hago manualmente, lo envía. Ahorita ya se los envié, pero después me, me deja predefinido el de Zoom. No sé qué. <ríe> terminó, bueno, ¿no? Pero se los voy a dejar ahí para que ustedes lo trabajen y me envíen las worksheets. Ok. ¿Y este todo lo terminamos? Este. Bueno, en este caso pueden tomarle una captura y después lo continúa cada quien. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Por qué? Sí, porque ya es hora. Okay, ¿Qué? Okay. No sentí el tiempo. <risa> <risa> Tómele captura a usted ahorita a los que no... Díganme. No, no tengo ninguna foto. Son como 30. Son 25, ¿no? creo yo. Son poquitos. <risa> <risa> ok, ya le tomé. Vamos, vamos a continuar cada quien, ok. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, vamos a cerrar, vamos a cerrar las salas. Y nosotros ya estábamos bien afamados haciendo ahí, <ríe> explicándonos ya.
Ok, perfecto. Este, ahí tuvimos un inconveniente con el enlace, el último enlace. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es compartirles nuevamente el enlace. Porque me dejaba predeterminado el de Zoom, me dejaba, no sé por qué. A ver, pero ya todos tienen el enlace. Hay alguien que no lo tenga, de la última worship. Creo que este. Ok, este nada más un reminder ahí. De la semana 1 ya llevan ahí procesado este, su progreso. Entonces, si han hecho, voy a seguir verificando por si hay algún avance también para que les vaya subiendo el porcentaje. Si ustedes ven que ahí el porcentaje es bajo, vuelvo a repetir el ejercicio para que le suba su porcentaje. Igual del homework 2 eh, y al día de mañana vamos a tener lleno esta parte de acá también. Porque esto ya prácticamente ya terminamos la semana 2, ya estamos en esta manera. Entonces tienen que ir trabajando su eh, plataforma para que podamos eh, ir por, procesando ahí los porcentajes. Recuerden que se les da seguimiento a cada uno de ustedes. Veamos, eh, bueno, asistencia. Carlos Elías Ortega Trejo. No. Eduardo Antonio Espino Mejía. Sí, ¿Qué me le ha pasado a Eduardo? Sí. Ha desaparecido esta semana. Creo que tenía problemas de horarios. Gabriela María Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Gerson Romel Vázquez. Estuvo al principio ahora. Ileana Estela Serrano de Candelario. Present. Thank you, Ileana. Isaías Santana González. Same. Thank you, Isaías. Jessica Ivette Ileana Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. José Eduardo Valdés Martínez. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Julio César Fabián Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen Leticia León Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Luis Alberto Cruz Monarca. Present. Thank you, Luis. María Elena González García. Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Ok. Déjenme les voy a poner los minutos que estuve. Omar Alexander Palacio Rivera. Present. Thank you. Paula Jimena Cornejo Álvarez. Está Paula por acá. No. No. Okay. Sonia Marisela Tejada Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, Virginia. Wilfredo Armando Rosales Torres. Present Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much. Y nos quedamos este día con, veamos con las dudas, la sección de consultas veamos ¿con quién estuvimos el día de ayer? me parece que fue ¿Es María Mirna, Mirna. Mirna, ¿verdad? sí, Mirna, ok, nos quedamos con Omar bueno, y si hay alguna otra consulta también pueden quedarse ok, thank you guys so that's all for today, I'll see you on Monday Miren, viernes, happy weekend lunes Cuídense, disfruten el fin de semana y descansen bastante. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye, Ok, bien, empezamos, Omar. Omar, eh, está por ahí, Omar. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Okay. 
Sí, sabe. Dígame. Quería hacerle una pequeña consulta. Eh, Dígame. Eh, estuve viendo lo de las, uh, lo de las asistencias, lo de mi, los minutos, y eh, me resultó extraño de que yo tengo en, una, en un recuadro 110 y siempre soy el, el primerito que entra. Ah, sí, cierto. Bueno, voy a pedir ahí que lo verifiquen, lo puedo dejar en comentario. Ok, um, mm -hmm. solamente eso era teacher. Thank you. Ok, thank you, Cesar. Bye bye, bye bye, Omar. Good night. Good night. Ok, Omar, eh, es esa sección de consultas. No sé si tiene alguna duda hasta el momento de algún tema o de la plataforma o de su progreso. Eh, solo de la plataforma. Creo que sinceramente esta semana no he podido avanzar, pero no sé qué Ajá. tanto tengo avanzado. Ah, sinceramente. Bueno. Vamos a tratar de verificar. Ok, veamos la cuestión de la plataforma. Ok, ahora. Omar, su apellido Omar, ah, Omar Alexander. Sí. Bueno, de lo que me aparece acá es que el homework 1 es, es el progreso de la semana 1. Está al 100% y la semana 2 también. Eh, de la semana 3, sí, llevamos 0%. Para la semana 3 la acabamos de comenzar. Entonces... Eh, Sí, lo que le recomendaría nada más es que veamos los ejercicios del día de ayer y ahora. Y veamos qué otro punto sería acá importante. Bueno, el, el midterm, no sé si ya lo realizó. Sí, ¿verdad? Acá está. Este ya lo realizó. Y este es 50%. Power one, promedio. Bien, 50%. No, sí, aquí va el 50% porque todavía le faltan la, estas dos unidades. Entonces al final me tiene que dar 100%. Pero aquí con el examen estamos bien, ya está realizado. Entonces solamente empezar a hacer el progreso de la semana 3. Ok, de acuerdo. Voy a ponerse el día esta semana, esto, este fin de semana. Las dos worksheets. Creo que son como dos páginas. Ok, de acuerdo, está bien. Ok, Omar, muchas gracias. Y no sé si hay alguna otra consulta. No, por el momento solo eso estaría bien. Ok, Omar. Thank you so much. See you on Monday. Cualquier consulta, escríbanos también. De acuerdo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.